And you know, just, you know, when it's a fight of this magnitude, you know, to build a fight of this magnitude, a lot of people don't know, you know, what it takes. It takes, um, of course it takes a tremendous team, but, you know, you got to sign, you know, you got to sign 600 gloves. You got to sit and sign 600 gloves. And then uh, we do the commercial. I got to do uh, 60 to 70 teleprompters. You know, uh, it takes a lot, to, you know, to build a fight of this magnitude. But I feel like I was put in this position for a reason. So, you know, I took advantage of it. I have a question for you. When you hear Floyd talk about uh, the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak, this fight, May, September, and then all the day, in terms of the boxing not being what is your feeling of seeing the event? I guess walk around his own terms. Shit, I'm happy. <laughs> um, he deserves it. I mean, he's, he's put in the work his whole career. You know, grinded, done everything the fans have asked him. You know, and um, he's had a remarkable career. It's not many months. Made all the money you can make. What else is there to do? In the sport. Yeah. Have nothing else to prove. Well, I'm not going to leave you tired. You know, I still got to help. You know, still work with, work with my stable. My stable of fighters. Still built the brand, the Mayweather Promotions brand. And, um, you know, it's, we have a lot of, like, you know, we, got, we already got young fighters. So we got the young fighters that, that, you know, that we breed. You know, we breed young fighters every day. We work with, we work with them. Those are, it's the future of the boxing, these three young guys. And um, with our company, we give fighters chances that no one else give chances to. The fighters that no one else give chances to. We like to give them that chance. So that's, you know, that's just our model. Everyone should have a chance. Does it worry you that people may not pay that much attention to you once you retire, as far as your promotion stuff and everything? Take a look at someone like Oscar. He's was an active fighter. He got a lot more attention. I think. I just think. You know. You know. Um, you know. Our status is two totally different. You know, it's two total different eras. I mean, not two total different eras. I just sat back and waited my turn. You know, um, so whereas you know, um, I don't have anything negative to say about Oscar, but um, two total. You know, there's between um, two totally different eras. Being promoted and just you know, being big with just. Hispanics and the Latinos to where, you know, when you're a worldwide figure, it's, it's totally different. You know, I think Oscar De La Roy, I think he was, you know, I think he was a good champion. And, you know, I think he's a, a solid guy. But his levels, it's, it's, it's different levels to this. But there's a difference between being a top athlete and a former top athlete. Um, he was a top fighter. There's a difference between being a top fighter and a top athlete. He was, a, he was one of the top fighters. And top athlete would just mean that you're competing against everyone, not just in your sport. So, you know, I don't think Oscar De La Hoya was never known as one of the top athletes. He was known as one of the top fighters. Are you looking forward to having some more A lot of times, I think. You know, like a lot of fighters, you know, I tell them, you know, every day at the boxing gym. You know, sometimes you ask for a certain thing, you don't always want what you ask for. You know, you be want you know, you want to be able to go out your house sometimes. You want to be able to go to go eat by yourself. You wanna be able to go do things sometimes by yourself, but you know, that's the life I chose, so I have to deal with it. What did you think about your own declaration that you're having to talk I mean, um, um, if, if no one, if no one has heard, I think being on, I tweeted. I mean, like, yeah, yeah. I think I put it on Twitter today. You know, that's, that's the thing about me. You know, I give I always give you the information. But, um, not true. Not true. I can't say what the future holds. Mm -hmm. As of right now, I think. You know, Aaron and Pacquiao was trying to sell tickets for, I don't even know the guy named Algeria, who trying to sell tickets for that fight. Um, 
I don't even know where they're fighting at. I don't know anything really about what time we're just doing. But everybody is uh, connected, connected to Floyd. Um, like I said before, I'm relevant. Once again, I say it again, I'm relevant. Everyone always want to be connected to me. Somehow, someone, whether it's a, in, a, in a negative way or a positive way, people are always trying to be connected to Floyd. Well, do you wish you had a great rivalry in your there, like Ali Frazier, Ali Frazier, Ali Frazier, I think that there's a difference, there's just a total difference. It's just that I make A-level fighters and A-level fighters look like just ordinary fighters. There's a difference. And, um, and I just take my hand off to all those guys that, you know, that paved the way for me to be one man. You know, uh, all those guys were, were remarkable fighters and I respect them, you know, for opening up the doors for me to be one man. You're not having super Absolutely not. What Bob's saying basically is that he met with Les Moonves from CBS, CBS, and that somehow um, and CBS and the HBO people are, I guess, willing to go I'm, I'm just here to talk about my Donna fight. If, if the other fight presents itself in the future, I can't say what, you know, what can happen in the future. But as of right now, all the stories that y'all been hearing is totally false. Is there... Follow up, one more follow up on that. Is there any scenario where you would fight back with their own competition? Like I said before, as of right now, that's not really not my focus. I mean, not, no, not disrespecting nobody, but that's not my focus. I got I got to focus on the guy that's in front of me. You know, and I think that with the uh, Marquez fight, with the Pacquiao Marquez fight, as y'all can see, when a guy is focused on other things, you see what happens. So my focus is my doctor. Was it the first time? Were you focused on other things? Uh, no, absolutely not. To win nine rounds? If I was focused on anything, then I'll, you know, I, I, I've done a, a tremendous job focusing on other things. Um, he came out uh, rugged and wild. And I just kept my composure. And when, when, it, when the time presented itself, and I, when the opportunity presented itself, I took it full advantage of it. Did you ever go back and watch it? Um, I've watched it a few times. Yes. How is that fight different if you don't have a cut? Um, probably no deal. You know, I just said, you know, the fourth round, I just couldn't, I couldn't see. Was that, was that your first real cut? You know, I, I've been, I've been hit with a headbutt before. Maybe in, like a punch. In the, no, in the, I didn't hit, you know what I'm saying, I've been hit with a headbutt. Um, a couple other, couple, two or three other fights. How long did you say you couldn't see for? You said, yeah. The whole round I couldn't see. That whole round? The whole round I couldn't see, you know, on my own. If I'm mistaken, my right eye. How was it now? Um, yeah, everything. You know, I, I went to training camp. I boxed. <laughs> been having solid work, good work, and I feel good. Did you see the Broner fight? Oh yeah, actually I did. You know, um, uh, I think uh, after watching college football, I, you know, I tuned in. I watched the. Um, I tuned in, I watched the Adrian Broner fight. I was impressed. I was impressed. I had, I had a long talk with Adrian, actually. Um, and the day before yesterday, I told him that, you know, um, he's a remarkable fighter. He's a remarkable fighter. He has all the tools, all the skills, but, you know, it's a lot that he has, he has to learn, you know, not just inside the ring, but outside the ring. You know, I was, I was young like him at one particular time and you know I made certain moves that I shouldn't I shouldn't have made but I didn't have a Floyd Mayweather to, to tell me you know you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do that but um Adrian Broner is a, you know he's a good kid but he, he's, he's still learning he's young